Tilder! So what lavalier mic should you purchase with your Rode Wireless Go 2 that won't break the bank? Well, from the five lavs I've tested ranging from $20 to $100, the $20 Sony lav mic performs very well with my voice and doesn't clip when I scream. Okay, so now you're listening to the Sony lavalier mic. It is in the vertical orientation and the fan is obviously on, so this is what it sounds like. All right, so now I'm wearing the Sony lavalier mic. It's in the vertical orientation and this is what it sounds like. You done messed up, Aaron! Even though you can sort of hear some RF interference in long, silent moments, most won't hear it when you're talking. If you're looking for the best performer out of the five, the Rode Lavalier Go at $80 performs very well with the lowest noise floor. You're listening to the Rode Lavalier Go with the fan on, and this is what it sounds like. All right, so now you're listening to the Rode Lavalier Go, the official lavalier for the Rode Wireless Go, and this is what it sounds like outdoors. It does clip when you scream though. This will all make sense when you listen to all the loft mics compared against each other. See you after the- Done! Roll that intro! Hey, what's going on everybody? You're watching Too Long Didn't Read Filmmaker, where the answers comes first, the reasons come last, but we're constantly and always still learning. So today we're gonna find out, out of these five lavalier mics, which one should you purchase for your Rode Wireless Go 2? because you guys asked me, so I'm gonna put it in this video. I do want to thank Rode for actually sending out their Rode Lovelier Go, because I requested it for this full comparison. So thank you, Rode, for sending that out. I also acquired two more Lavalier mics that I didn't have. It's a Sony and a JK mic to put in this review so that we have a nice budget range from $20 all the way to $100. I feel like this is a good budget area from low budget to about prosumer budget, because unfortunately I can't really afford Countryman, Sankin, and all these really higher end lavalier mics. Even Deity has some higher end ones. So, but if you guys want to send those out to me, feel free, because I do want to basically make this a standard with my wireless audio reviews. I want to test not only the included lavalier mics, but this range of lavalier mics so you guys can be best informed of what lavalier mics are going to sound on these systems. So without further ado, before we actually get to the test, let me introduce our contenders. We have the unique $20 Sony lav that has two different capsules so you can use it in vertical or horizontal orientation. Next, we have the $30 Olympus ME15 dictation lavalier mic. The breakout hit from JK Mike, the J44 at $30. Unfortunately for this one, the road causes loud RF interference. This is the JK Mike 44, and this is what it sounds like. So it's out of the running. Next, we have the official Rode Lavalier Go at $80. And we'll round it off with the Deity W Lav at $100. So without further ado, let's go over to the sound quality tests. For the sound quality test, I'm doing it in three different areas. I'm doing it here with the Godox light on, which actually has a fan so you could hear what that sounds like. Then I'm gonna turn the fan off so you can hear what that sounds like. And then third, we're gonna go outdoors to see what my voice sounds like when I'm not in a confined room that basically has no audio treatment whatsoever. All right, guys, you're currently listening to the Rode Wireless Go 2, the built-in microphone. Again, we are in a non-sound treated room, bare walls to my left. The Godox SL60 fan is on, basically pointing at me with the fan. So this is what it sounds like if I don't say anything. Okay, so now you're listening to the Sony lavalier mic. It is in the vertical orientation and the fan is obviously on. So this is what it sounds like. You're still listening to the Sony lavalier mic. I've put it now in the horizontal orientation. The fan is on, so this is what it sounds like. All right, so this is the Olympus lavalier mic, and this is what it sounds like when that Godox fan is on. You're listening to the Rode lavalier go with the fan on, and this is what it sounds like. And finally, this is the Deity W Lof mic with the fan on, and this is what it sounds like. I've turned off the light. You are now listening to the Rode Wireless Go 2 built-in microphone in a more quiet environment. You're now listening to the Sony lavalier mic in the vertical orientation with the fan off, and this is what it sounds like. You are still listening to the Sony lavalier mic now in the horizontal orientation with the fan off, and this is what it sounds like. You are listening to the Olympus lavalier mic, and this is what it sounds like when that fan is off. You're now listening to the Rode lavalier go with the fan off, and this is what it sounds like. This is the DADW lav mic with the fan off, and this is what it sounds like. All right, guys, for the outdoor test, I have the Rode Wireless Go 2. I do have the wind muff on, it's clipped right here. 
and you know it's a fairly non-windy day outside there is some birds chirping there is actually a highway probably less than a mile that way and i can actually audibly hear the cars so anyways this is what it sounds like outdoors and i'm going to be quiet for a second for ambience all right so now i'm wearing the sony lavalier mic it's in the vertical orientation and this is what it sounds like all right so now i have the sony in the horizontal orientation and this is what it sounds like for ambience Okay, so now we're using the Olympus lavalier microphone. I have it clipped right over here. Again, same conditions, and I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit, and this is what the ambience sound like. All right, so now you're listening to the Rode Lavalier Go, the official lavalier for the Rode Wireless Go, and this is what it sounds like outdoors. All right, so the last one up, we have the Deity mic. I do have the windmuff on, because it is the only lav that comes with an actual dead cat windmuff. So this is what it sounds like outdoors. Now we're going to take a look at the noise floor in terms of what can we hear when the fan is on, when the fan is off. And everyone's favorite, let's see if we can clip the mic if I just scream. You done messed up, Aaron! 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 Now I do read your comments. Someone requested, could I just put the Rode Wireless Go 2 underneath a shirt or maybe a jacket pocket? And what would that sound like? So if you do this, I would highly suggest that you keep the wind muff on with its twist lock. It's gonna be much better. And hopefully as the cloth rustle, obviously that's quite drastic, but if you're just normally talking or someone's at a wedding and he's just kind of standing there, I, this is what it's gonna sound like, more or less. So what's the bottom line here? Which one of these lavalier mics do I recommend to go with your Rode Wireless Go 2? And actually I have two recommendations. It's the Sony and the Rode Lavalier Go. Now keep in mind of these two because they are different in budget and they do excel in different ways, but keep these names in mind because I'm gonna basically go over each one and tell you the pros and cons. Let's start off with the Sony coming in at $20. Honestly, for $20, it sounded really good. In fact, I really like the way it sounds with my voice. It kind of brings up the right frequencies to give me a little bit more of that broadcastiest sound. You're now listening to the Sony lavalier mic in the vertical orientation with the fan off, and this is what it sounds like. All right, so now I'm wearing the Sony lavalier mic. It's in the vertical orientation, and this is what it sounds like. Not so much like a condenser mic, but it kind of gives me that feeling. and. Surprisingly enough, at $20, it doesn't clip during the screaming test. So that's definitely good. The only thing that it suffers at is when you listen to the noise floor test, you probably actually heard that faint RF interference when I played it back. Now here's the thing. I'm not actually too worried about it because when I listened to all the sound quality tests first and then you know, added the correct gain to hear what it sounded like in the noise floor test, I didn't hear it when I was talking. So that could be my headphones or what have you, but it was just faint enough where my voice basically blasted over it. Now, if you're doing some very critical sound work, then you'll either have to go through isotope to remove that RF free interference or 
uh, I don't know, you might just have to pony up and go to the other lavalier mics. So without further ado, let's go to the Olympus coming in at $30. This one actually performed quite well, and it actually didn't clip when I screamed into it. The only thing that it did not do well is the noise floor is quite high with all things considered. Now, this also depends because when I was listening to me talking, especially when I was outdoors, the noise floor of the mic didn't exceed what was going on around me, uh, even with that fan on, especially when I'm talking. So it's only during those silent moments where you're really gonna hear it. But if you're just gonna keep talking and you cut and you maybe do a little noise gate, it might be okay. But just so you know, that is a weak point of the Olympus ME15. Next up, we have the Rode Lavalier Go coming in at $80. This one sounded great, had a very nice low noise floor, but it did clip when I did the scream test. So that's kind of interesting that the cheaper mics didn't clip, but this one did. However, no one is gonna be screaming that loudly for no reason. And if you are, you're probably gonna have to use a different mic or use a boom mic for that specific shot. But that being said, for $80, it has a really good sound quality, and I'm very surprised because next we have the Deity coming in at $100, which had a higher noise floor than the Rode Lavalier Go. Not exactly sure why, but that being said, that's just me really nitpicking because the Deity does have a really nice sound. However, the Deity did clip, but not as bad as the Lavalier Go, during the screaming test. So you might be asking yourself, well, is there any reason to go between a $20 difference of the Rode Lavalier Go and the Deity W Lav? Well, the Deity W Lav does give you a carrying case, wind muffs, as well as a whole bunch of other accessories. So if you're thinking about it that way, you're basically gonna have to spend almost 20 some dollars to kit out that Lavalier Go. So you might as well go over to the W Lav, if you want, if the deity, sorry, there's so many names, but that's basically it. For $20, you're getting some extra accessories and also a carrying case. But other than that, like I said, the Sony surprised me and the Rode Lavalier Go is probably my two recommendations for this specific Rode Wireless Go 2. And hey, that is it for this week, everybody. If this video has made all the influence in your purchasing decisions, I would truly appreciate it if you check out my Amazon affiliate links down below. Again, this costs nothing extra to you, just gives me a little compensation so I can continue making videos like this for you. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down below. I will get to them as fast as I can. And until then, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next one.